The Hubble Space Telescope recently captured a series of images that could forever alter our understanding of the cosmos. The images were of 3 Eye Atlas, an interstellar object that had been drifting through our solar system for months, and what they revealed was not just a blur of gas and dust, what emerged from the haze defined everything we thought we knew about the laws of nature. The object, a mere speck of light from the distant reaches of space, hid within it something that could only be described as perfectly geometric. Three distinct jets of material, each precisely positioned 120 degrees apart, erupted from its core. This was no ordinary comet, no random chunk of ice and dust. This was something far more calculated, and the implications were both astounding and unsettling. For months, scientists had observed 3 Eye Atlas from afar, assuming it was like any other visitor from the stars, a comet, an icy wanderer with no particular purpose. But as it drew closer, the haze of dust and gas that surrounded it began to dissipate. What Hubble captured next was so precise, so mathematically improbable, that it made scientists stop in their tracks. The jets, three in total, were positioned in a perfect equilateral triangle, this kind of symmetry, especially in the vast expanse of space, was unheard of. In nature, symmetry appears in the most unlikely places, like the six-fold symmetry of a snowflake or the radial symmetry of a flower. But on the scale of a mountain-sized object drifting through the void, it is virtually non-existent. Yet here it was, three jets, evenly spaced, each one firing with identical intensity. The odds of such an occurrence being a natural fluke a mere 0.2%, that's a 1 in 500 chance. This was no accident of nature. Something or someone had to be behind this. The question was not whether it was a coincidence, but rather, what were we looking at? The discovery of these perfectly aligned jets sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Astronomers who had been studying comets and interstellar objects for decades were left speechless. What they had initially believed to be just another comet was now looking more like a technological anomaly, something designed with a precision that was almost human. The symmetry wasn't just mathematical, it was engineered. But what could be the purpose of such design, and who or what could be responsible for it? At first, the raw data from Hubble seemed underwhelming. The initial images were nothing more than a blurry white smudge, a typical observation of an object in the far reaches of space. But Hubble's instruments, sophisticated and powerful, revealed more than just a blur. A special filter, known as the Larsenina Rotation Gradient Filter, was used to sift through the noise and highlight the movement of the object itself. This tool, akin to a digital sieve, helped scientists separate the chaotic dust from the solid structure of the object. What emerged from this analysis was nothing short of extraordinary. The smudge disappeared, and in its place were three needle-thin jets, each one perfectly aligned, each one pointing in the same direction with mathematical precision. These jets were not random outbursts of gas or dust. They were structured, purposeful, and perfectly balanced. Their placement with such exact symmetry seemed almost intentional. This was not a natural occurrence. It looked like a piece of technology, something designed to maintain stability and precision in the midst of chaos. In the vast emptiness of space, where disorder reigns and cosmic forces are unpredictable, the existence of such symmetry seemed impossible. And yet, there it was, staring back at us. The implications of this discovery were far-reaching, could it be that we were looking at something far more complex than a comet, a deliberate construct designed with intention and purpose? The possibility sent chills down the spines of many astronomers. This wasn't just a rock from the stars. This was a message, an encounter that could change everything. As scientists debated the implications of what they were seeing, a growing sense of unease began to settle in. The more they analyzed the data, the more it became clear that the object was not behaving like a typical comet. Instead of tumbling uncontrollably through space, it appeared to be stabilizing itself with surgical precision. The jets, firing at exact intervals and with identical intensity, suggested a level of control that was far beyond the capabilities of any natural object. Could this be a form of technology, something designed to withstand the harshest conditions of space while maintaining perfect balance? The symmetry of the jets, 
each position did exactly 120 degrees apart was not just a random occurrence. This is the golden ratio for balance, the very same ratio used in the design of mechanical systems, satellites, and stabilization engines. It was the kind of geometry that one would use if they were designing something to stay stable, even as it drifted through the chaotic forces of space. The arrangement of the jets was reminiscent of a drone or a spacecraft, both of which rely on precise and symmetrical thrust to maintain control. Could this be a manufactured object, drifting through space, its purpose unknown? Or was it just an extraordinary coincidence, a fluke of nature that had somehow created the perfect balance? The debate raged on, with some researchers suggesting that 3i Atlas might be a contact binary, a cosmic accident in which two or more objects collided at low speeds and became fused together. This is a relatively common occurrence in our own solar system, where small celestial bodies crash into one another and form larger objects. If 3i Atlas was a contact binary, the jets could have been formed by the gas vents located in just the right spots, creating a pattern that appeared organized. But even this theory didn't account for the precision of the jets. For three separate gas vents to be placed so perfectly, to fire with the same intensity at the same time, was a mathematical impossibility. The odds of this happening by chance were simply too low. And that's where the 0.2% figure came into play. It wasn't just a number, it was a mathematical certainty that something was off. In the world of science, we typically look for a sigma value, a measure of certainty that tells us whether what we're seeing is real or simply a statistical anomaly. But when the probability of something happening naturally is just 0.2%, we have to ask ourselves, what are we really looking at? Could this be a piece of interstellar technology, a signal left for us to find? Avi Leb, a Harvard astronomer who has spent years searching for signs of extraterrestrial intelligence, isn't ready to dismiss the possibility that 3i Atlas is something more than just a rock. He points to the symmetry of the jets as a potential technological signature, asking the question that many in the scientific community are reluctant to confront. Why is it so perfect? As 3i Atlas continues its journey through the solar system, the questions surrounding it grow ever more pressing. Its enigmatic presence, once considered just another drifting interstellar object, now appears to be something far more complex and potentially significant. The object's upcoming encounter with Jupiter will mark a critical turning point in the investigation, one that could either answer many lingering questions or raise even more. This flyby, set to take place on March 16, 2026, will bring 3i Atlas within reach of Jupiter's immense gravitational field, a force so powerful that it can tear comets apart or sling them into the dark void of space. Jupiter has long been considered the guardian of our solar system, its size and gravity making it a cosmic sentinel that shields the inner planets from potential threats. For 3i Atlas, this encounter will be a trial by fire. If 3i Atlas is a simple object composed of ice, dust, or other loose material, it is likely to break apart as it passes through Jupiter's gravity well. The forces at play during this encounter are immense, and even the most resilient comets and asteroids often succumb to the planet's gravitational grip. A rock of such size, if it were nothing more than a loose conglomerate of materials, would have little chance of surviving this close pass. It would be torn apart, its jets dissipating into the vacuum of space, its structure disintegrating under the gravitational pressure. But if the object maintains its integrity, if those perfectly balanced jets continue to fire with the same precision despite Jupiter's gravitational assault, then we may be looking at something far more sophisticated than we initially believed. It would be a sign that the object is not simply a chunk of rock hurtling through space, but something designed to endure such extreme forces, something built with purpose and intent. This would dramatically alter our understanding of 3i Atlas, transforming it from an anomaly into a potential technological marvel. The Juno probe, which has been orbiting Jupiter for years, will play a crucial role in unraveling the mystery. As 3i Atlas approaches the gas giant, Juno will turn its sensors toward the object, providing the most detailed observations we've had to date. 
The spacecraft has already sent back invaluable data about Jupiter's atmosphere and its moons, but now it will offer an unprecedented look at an interstellar object during one of the most critical moments of its journey. Juno's instruments will be able to analyze the composition and behavior of 3i Atlas in ways that we never could before, offering clues about its structure, its origin, and perhaps even its purpose. The data that Juno collects could provide the missing pieces to a puzzle that has confounded astronomers since the first images of 3i Atlas were captured. Is this truly just a rock, a cosmic relic from the distant reaches of space? Or is it something more? perhaps a piece of technology, an artifact from a civilization far beyond our own. The encounter with Jupiter will provide the ultimate test for these competing theories. If the jets continue to fire in perfect symmetry, if the object holds its shape despite the enormous gravitational stress it faces, then we may be dealing with something much more complex than we originally thought. The stakes of this encounter couldn't be higher. If 3i Atlas survives the flyby and continues on its journey with those jets still firing with precision, we may be forced to reconsider everything we know about the universe. It would challenge our understanding of physics, of the capabilities of natural objects, and of what is possible in the vast reaches of space. It would suggest that there is far more to the cosmos than we can currently comprehend, a message from beyond the stars, a glimpse into the unknown, or perhaps even a sign of intelligent life that is far older and more advanced than we ever imagined. The data from the Juno probe, once it is collected, will be the key to unlocking the truth. Whatever the outcome, the encounter with Jupiter will mark a moment in history, one that will either confirm our wildest theories or shatter them completely. The universe is about to reveal more than we ever expected, and the answers we seek may be far more profound than we ever imagined.